Hello, beautiful souls. And as we do that, we begin to actually take these quantum leaps towards, I hate to call them goals because that word sounds so constricted, but we begin to take quantum leaps towards these outcomes that we may have envisioned for ourselves, moving much more quickly from a physical 3D perspective than most people who are still living at lower levels of consciousness would actually believe possible. And I sense that you, awakened divine feminine goddess being that you are, you're actually stepping more into that kind of really powerful manifestation style and fully leaving behind those old patterns of control that were based upon fear. Now it's so funny, I haven't even pulled many new cards yet. I've only pulled two new cards, and we haven't gone to those yet because there were so many cards that actually came out as I was shuffling the decks as I was getting ready for this reading. Now I will say Divine Feminine, you have this very strong spiritual presence around you right now. Your guides are most likely giving you a lot of downloads, either consciously or unconsciously. I'm getting that for some of you. You might be channeling these downloads in unconscious ways, creatively. So if you are someone who already has an open channel through a creative outlet, what I mean by that is if you are someone who is a singer, a songwriter, an artist, a writer, a creative type in some way, maybe you journal on a daily basis. If you are consistently in a routine of keeping an open channel for these downloads to come through unconsciously, your guides are already sending those downloads through those creative outlets. So be aware of that because I'm getting that if you're a creative type, much of what you're doing right now creatively, much of what you're sharing, writing, again, even if it's just journaling, you're actually channeling a lot of information that is coming through as downloads, really powerful information. Who is not afraid to be untethered, one who is again utilizing these tools, whatever it is for you, whether it's a creative outlet, whether it's meditation, something in your life, these daily rituals that actually expand your being energetically, raise your vibration, align you with higher timelines. I see that if you're feminine here also looking towards the light, looking towards the sun in this artwork, and what I see this representing is that you, Divine Feminine, are looking towards the new beginning that you are creating and beginning to embody energetically. You are dropping the past. You are leaving the past behind. Once again, there's that sense of having gone through a mini-ego death recently, where, once again, you have released certain aspects or facets of your previous self, and in doing so, created space for this new version of yourself to come in. Now, with the Divine Masculine, I see the Masculine coming up here as Divine Discontent, almost being pushed into this very opposite energy from the Divine Feminine, from Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe. My beloved love, I feel like Divine Feminine. You may have gone through a period of your life where you focused on developing a lot of self-awareness. So during this time, you may have absorbed a great deal of spiritual material through books, through other mediums. You may have been really actively working to identify all of your traumas, all of your self-limiting patterns, focusing on pushing yourself to constantly better yourself. But the thing is, it's almost like through all of that self-analysis, through all of that healing work, you've come to a place where you are ready to emerge from the cocoon, where you've expanded to a point where you are just simply ready to drop that old identity and to allow yourself to be new, to allow your life to be new, to allow yourself to come into this fresh embodiment of self that is more in alignment with that higher self. Whereas for the Divine Masculine, he was far less self-aware. He worked far less on developing that sense of self-awareness, going within himself. He, in fact, really resisted this. You, Divine Feminine, went deep into your emotional body. You went deep into yourself through spending a great deal of time alone. Through I'm seeing someone getting really emotional, crying, processing a lot of pain. You went through all of that. Now I see the masculine, who for a long time, was resisting or distracting from that process. And I just saw the number 2323. That may be significant to someone. But I see that the masculine is now going through all of that, and it's almost like hitting him like a ton of bricks. But it's also meant to be felt. 
It's meant to break down his old version of self. He is going through that major ego death that you, Divine Feminine, may have gone through months or even years ago. And I see that it's actually your rising, your expanding energy that is pushing the Divine Masculine into that deep journey of self-analysis, self-evaluation, beginning to wonder. I hear a masculine saying, Am I living the life I truly desire? Am I where I want to be in life? It's almost like a spiritual awakening is happening within the masculine that's coming through here. But it's actually leading. It's I'm hearing. Apathy is turning to deep discontentments. So it's like for a while. The masculine here may have been living very on the surface, using distractions to avoid self-analysis, feeling almost apathetic. There was a lack of emotional awareness here that may have looked like apathy on the surface. But now I see that apathy is being transformed into a deep sense of conscious discontentment that is actually meant to motivate him into the changes that would bring forth greater happiness. Now I see that you, Divine Feminine, it's almost like you're being pushed out of your head. So it's a very opposite energy because you've already again done that deep self-analysis, self-evaluation. And it's almost like you're starting to get this restless push outside of yourself, outside of, outside of those, like long trails of thought in your mind. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe.